the dalmatian dog by t j woodcock the dalmatian or coach dog came from the province of dalmatia in the southern part of austria bordering on the northeast shore of the adriatic sea and from this province it derives its name it is known in france as the Brac de bengal and is there supposed to be an indian variety it is impossible to speak with any degree of certainty regarding the origin of this remarkably handsome breed but it is apparently the result of a cross between the hound and the pointer some english breeders have believed it to be a cross between a bull terrier and a pointer but neither its form nor its markings appear to justify this claim the breed today in america certainly does not resemble the bull terrier although it has a striking resemblance to the pointer and possesses at least one of his most prominent characteristics in fact the writer in strolling across the country near one of chicago's suburbs accompanied by a favorite untrained dalmatian has frequently seen him point game in a manner that would do credit to a well-trained pointer it is certain that the dalmatian was used in his native country in the field although the breed from lack of practice on game has generally speaking lost its keenness of scent the type of the breed has changed but little in several centuries the oldest pictures extant showing him in substantially the same form as he is seen at our modern bench shows formerly the barbarous custom of clipping the ears prevailed among fanciers of this breed as among those of the bulldog and the bull terrier some breeders taking off the whole earlap giving the animal a most hideous appearance and subjecting it to great suffering in many instances canker and deafness resulted fortunately however this cruel practice has been abandoned under the more humane public sentiment of modern times and bench show judges no longer tolerate such mutilation few breeds attract more attention at bench shows than the dalmatian notwithstanding the few entries that are made the trim graceful form the high well carried head the alert expression of eye and ear and the beautiful marking of the coach render him an object of interest to all lovers of the dog the body of a typical dalmatian should be white with black or liver colored spots evenly distributed over the body head neck legs and tail these spots should be round not smaller than a silver dime nor larger than a half dollar black markings are preferred by most fanciers to the brown both colors are found on some specimens and while this is admissible it is not generally regarded as showing careful breeding such marking indicates a mixture of blood of the two varieties many otherwise good specimens fail in competition through having no spots on the tail and common flat black faces or ears are decided blemishes in buying a dalmatian it is well to examine the feet and legs for a dog with imperfectly formed or weak legs cannot endure the fatigue of a long run after a carriage a noticeable peculiarity in this breed is the fact that the puppies when first whelped are often pure white the spots developing within a few days a friend of the writer not being aware of this fact destroyed a very promising litter with the exception of one which showed faint signs of black spots the spots developed in time but the specimen did not prove a handsome one doubtless several of those that were killed would have proven far better the dalmatian is the coach dog par excellence his love for horses his fleetness of foot his sagacity and courage as a guardian of property left in his charge render him extremely valuable and it is strange that so few of them are owned and trained for this purpose it is so seldom that a well-trained dalmatian is seen in his proper position between the heels of the horse and the fore axle or under the pole between both horses if a span that when such a sight is presented it invariably excites the curiosity and admiration of all beholders it is a common error to suppose that the breed in question is devoid of intelligence and unsuitable for use in any other capacity than in the stable and about the carriage the writer has owned many fine dogs of various breeds and for general usefulness and intelligence 
as a house dog and as a companion prefers the black spotted dalmatian to any other one specimen that i owned was a most excellent ratter and on one occasion killed eleven rats within a few minutes this was an exceptional animal however for this quality was almost entirely lacking in others descended from this same stock once on a cold winter evening while driving home the faithful dalmatian called our attention to a figure at the roadside on investigation it was found to be a man insensible from drink and but for the dog he would have been run over or escaping this would probably have been allowed to remain out all night and would have frozen to death a dalmatian becomes warmly attached to a horse and will at once notify his master of any danger that may threaten the animal an instance is recalled in which a horse was allowed to pasture on a vacant lot near the railroad tracks the horse wandered among the tracks and was in immediate danger of being killed by a train that was nearly due the dog at once ran to the master barking and showing by unmistakable signs that something was wrong with the horse he guided the master to the horse in time to avert the threatened disaster schuyler a dog of the breed in question once owned by the rider and it was awarded a first prize at a chicago bench show was a splendid watchdog at night the inside doors of the house were all left open and he had full range of the house he would go into a room glance over the bed as if to see if all were there and sleeping soundly making thus the complete circuit of the house he would then lie down for a while and would make the rounds at frequent intervals during the night one dark night during the labor troubles a man laid violent hands on the owner of schuyler but regretted it for many a day thereafter for the dog at once sprang and seized him by the throat in a deadly grasp the poor fellow was only too glad to have the dog called off a good coach dog has often saved his owner much valuable property by watching the carriage it is a trick of thieves who work in pairs for one to engage the coachman in conversation while the other sneaks around in the rear and steals whatever robes or other valuables he can lay his hands on i never lost an article while the dogs were in charge but was continually losing when the coachman was in charge the same general rules for breeding kennel management and the treatment of diseases will apply to the dalmatian as to other breeds in training for the carriage it is usually found necessary to tie a young dog in proper position under the fore axles for seven or eight drives before he will go as required some bright puppies however require little or no training especially if they can be allowed to run with an old dog that is already trained the dalmatian may easily be trained to perform tricks errands etc the method employed being the same as that used in training a dog of any other breed kindness is essential in the training and handling of this as of any other dog you must secure the dog's love and confidence before you can hope to make him obey you under kind treatment the dalmatian is always bright playful and intelligent but with bad treatment is sure to become sullen and treacherous as a rule he has great love for children is faithful in guarding them and is desperate when they are molested he is kind and gentle friendly even to strangers when off duty is brave and averse to fighting but when compelled to fight is a dangerous antagonist in preparing the dalmatian for the bench never fail to give him a thorough bath as a perfectly clean coat is necessary in order to make the black spots shine out from the white body with the greatest brilliancy it is well to bathe the dog frequently when not on exhibition as it is conducive to the health as well as beauty of the animal the dalmatian bitch lulu owned by the writer was a beautiful specimen descended from notable english prize winners she with a litter of puppies attracted so much attention at the chicago bench shows that the commissioner in charge of the bench show held at the international centennial exhibition at philadelphia in eighteen seventy sent for her she was placed on exhibition there with a litter of puppies was shown great attention and was greatly admired by thousands of people she was awarded a diploma and medal as best dalmatian bitch with honorable mention for puppies unfortunately no photograph of this bitch was taken 
but the accompanying illustration is that of one of the best living specimens following is the standard and scale of points for judging the dalmatian scale of points general appearance value ten color markings and coat twenty five neck chest and body five head including ears and eyes five legs feet and tail five total fifty the head should be wide and flat blunt at muzzle and light-lipped nose black ears rather small v-shaped and very fine if these are well spotted great beauty is added to the dog's appearance eyes dark and inclined to be small not extremely large neck arched and light tapering onto powerful and sloping shoulders chest deep rather broad body round in ribs and well ribbed up behind four legs straight and very muscular plenty of bone is essential in this breed so as to enable a dog to stand the wear and tear it has to encounter on hard roads over which it is compelled to travel feet round with toes arched and well split up pads round firm and elastic hind legs muscular with clean hocks placed near the ground as in the bulldog tail tapering down from the root and carried as that of a pointer this must be well spotted color and markings well spotted all over with either black or liver colored spots these should not intermingle and should be of the size of from a dime and not to exceed a silver half dollar the larger spots being on the body and the smaller on the ears tail and legs coat is close short and fine general appearance is that of a strong muscular dog capable of enduring considerable fatigue and possessing a fair amount of speed